Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to a very, very special collaboration edition. Tonight we are doing a collaboration, our Secret Santa Very Merry Christmas collaboration with mixed media girl Marcy Farrow, Sarah Mack, myself, and Lee and Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studios. So this is super fun. I'm very, very excited. I don't know if you guys saw our unboxing video where I got a colander and this magnificent hat that I actually really, really like. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I will keep it on for a little bit. <laughs> so what I did, I actually tried using the colander and I'll show you that one. And then I tried using another colander that I found. And this was the result of the second colander, which is this one. So this one is a little bit smaller, but it actually has holes versus these lines. So this I felt actually gave us a little bit of a better result in terms of lines and that pretty kaleidoscope effect that we kind of got a little bit muddy and a little bit lost. Okay, now I gotta take it off because I can't see. <laughs> I can't pay attention to what I'm doing. But uh, anyway, this one's not bad. It's very pretty. kind of reminds me of the center of a daisy, which is kind of cool. And we have a little bit of our purple glitter in there from our, <laughs> our glitter bomb gift box. Let me show you the other one that I did, the first one. So this is with the colander that Santa actually sent. And we did get some of that kaleidoscoping. And there are some beautiful lines in here. This is not my favorite sort of thing. It looks a little bit dull to me, a little bit muddy, because the colors blend so much. This was with this one. So I'm not going to be using that one tonight. I'm going to use the smaller one. And we're going to do something a little bit different that I've been thinking about that was kind of cool. So. Um, that's this one we're going to be using and we're going to be doing it on a different canvas on a 24 by 30. So that's my, I'm going to call this one Snow Daisy. <laughs> okay. So the colors that Santa sent me were Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green and Liquitex Basics Brilliant Yellow Green and Folk Arts Metallic Ice Blue. And he also sent me some of this Opal Glitter Medium which is from Master's Touch, which is kind of cool. And I have put this in my Prussian Blue and I have put it in the Ice Blue as well. So let's get those out of the way. Okay, so here's the Bright Aqua Green. And I, my consistency is fairly thick tonight. This one does have that oval medium in it. It is leaving a mound on a mound. Everything tonight is mixed with mix and just a tiny bit of water in the Prussian blue, but it's nice and thick and creamy. And I want it thicker because I want to hold the shape of the lines as they come through. I don't want everything to blend completely together. This is that metallic ice blue from Folk Art. And it has that glitter opal medium in it as well, leaving a mound on a mound. Okay. This one is the brilliant yellow green. And this color has kind of grown on me a little bit. It's kind of like a spring green. Very pretty. And it looks really pretty in that snow daisy one. This is our 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. Nice and thick and lovely. This is our Prussian blue from Goldens. So the colors that I added to that palette were the Goldens Prussian blue and the 24 karat gold. And this has that opal medium in there also, which is really cool. You can actually see it in that snow daisy one. I also have a cup here of, I believe that's Amsterdam white, um, but it's very thin down. So this one is not leaving a mound on a mound. It's pretty much sinking right away. So that's a lot thinner. That's for a flow extender. And I'm not going to use that in the pour tonight because I don't want it to get muddy and a white muddy sort of way. I have two cups of the Prussian blue because there's something I want to do with that that I think is going to be cool and provide a lot of contrast. I'm going to use one of my split cups for this. I have a 12 by 12 inch gallery canvas here. I'm really excited. 
slash nervous. All right, let's go ahead and fill up the cup. So this is the ice blue. All colors are mixed with Floetrol and water. Now I'm going to be doing a traveling tree ring, but not in the traditional sense. I'm not going to be moving it in a circle. So I'm going to literally just let it fall, which will create this amazing feathering. And I'm going to pour as slowly as I can. So I will likely be speeding this part up. So let's get that out of the way. We are going to be using a 24 by 30 inch canvas tonight from Artist Loft. I have taped the back, put my push pins in. Each always said, ooh, new push pins. It was so funny. Okay, so that's <laughs> our 24 by 30. <laughs> okay. Some, some of them have gone around the block a few times. <laughs> yeah, they have. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this this way for a second and get it out of the way. Put that up there. Okay. So, what I want to do is not the traditional um, colander pour. What I want to do is actually, instead of keeping it in the center and having it come out like this, I'm going to take my two little friends here, and I'm going to elevate the edge of this, like so. And we're gonna put this on here, but we're only gonna put like two thirds of it on there. I'm not gonna put the whole thing on there because I don't actually want that round center. Well, maybe we will put the whole thing on there. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> we're gonna go like this and I'm gonna let the paint flow down and I think it's gonna make some really, really cool effects. And we might get a little bit of that kaleidoscopy drippiness but if I don't like the way that it looks since it's on a corner, I'll be able to tilt it off because I'm not real crazy about that part. I do like the lines though. So the other thing that I'm going to do instead of layering a cup, because that's what I did with those two, I'm going to use individual colors one at a time and we're going to see how that goes. So I am going to take some of this white flow extender and put that down here first, just kind of like in a runway almost because I'm anticipating this is the way it's going to move. Let's see if we can spread that out just a touch. And I want to give our paint something to slide on. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love, I am indeed. Okay, so we're going to put this up here. I guess I should put a tiny bit on the corner. put that right there and we're gonna start with some of our Prussian blue and I'm just gonna lay a ring not even ring just go around the side like this and I'm gonna actually let that float through there before I put the next color on and partially this is because I want to make sure that it's not too thick and it is actually gonna go through the holes and also I want that more solid color in there I want to see each individual color Okay, that's spreading out nice. That side's going more than that side, but that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna put some of this ice blue in there because I can see all the holes now, so I know it has mostly drained out. We're gonna come in with a layer of the ice blue, not too much, and I'm gonna let that drain and come out, and it's starting. There it is. So pretty. Okay. This is going to be cool. Now I'm going to not wait as long in between. I'm going to put, uh, yeah, let's put a layer of gold. Just a little bit because I don't want a lot. And then we're going to put some of the bright aqua green. And the brilliant yellow green. second I'm starting to see some of the gold 
that's cool. That's good. Here comes the bright aqua green. going this way for some reason. <laughs> Maybe we need to tilt this more this way. Okay, so we did that. Let's come back to our Prussian blue again. Across that edge where I want it to fall. Obviously, I don't want paint coming over this way yet. Ooh, looks like we got a cool curve there. That's kind of neat. Okay, let's go back to that sky blue again, the ice blue. Very pretty color. And I want to put another layer of Prussian in there too. Okay. That's cool. That's pretty. I like it. a little bit dripping off over here on the edges. starting to get those very pretty lines that I like. Yay! Okay, I'm going to come back in now with some of the ice blue again. And some of that bright aqua green. And then the Prussian blue. Good still. This is kind of cool. Patience. Huh? Patience. <laughs> What's that? I'm going to start on the outside. lightly doing this. I got a little bit of a squiggly. Okay. Now, I'm going to wreck this one. I think I'm going to do just like a half moon kind of thing. So I'm going to turn it around. Yeah, let's see here. Let's go this way with it first. I think definitely having it up higher, stretching out those lines. I just want to make sure that it doesn't. That's fine. 
and that's better. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit more white over here. So that can continue to slide. Okay, and we've gotten this empty again. I think we're gonna do one more layer. I'm gonna come in again with the Prussian blue. Blue. I'm gonna wait just a minute for that to go down. Very pretty though, I love these lines. I think that's really, really gorgeous. I think I want to put another layer of the Prussian blue in there. I like that contrast between the two of them. I also like the contrast between the bright aqua green and the Prussian blue more than I like the bright aqua green next to the ice blue. So. channeling Mark Rober for a second, the deeper that the paint gets, the greater the pressure is to push it out on the bottom. That's just physics. It's not necessarily Mark Rober. <laughs> Mark Rober is an engineer. Well, that's nice. Okay, let's move him away. Guess I'd be channeling Archimedes then, yeah? There you go. So let's do this. We've got these branches. Oops. I'll catch that bit up again in a second. Need a messy painter today. Okay, so that's a that looks really good. Very lopsided because I'm just not able to to, do, to get this symmetrical because I'm using both hands. Just let that run out of there just a little bit more. It's almost there. It's looking really really pretty though. Here, maybe we'll just pick this up and just let this part drip. You were awesome. So now we've got this all the way down to the other corner. I'm just going to slide it this way a little bit. Take that bottom edge down actually so it does go off the corner. That's perfect. Just a little more paint up here than we need. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now before I move this around anymore. I'm gonna take, so this cup is empty-ish, ish. ish. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of our Prussian blue in there, and then I'm gonna thin it out a lot. And I'm gonna use this as a flow extender around the sides. Okay, so it's still leaving a little bit of a mound. Thin it out one more time. Okay, now 
we're gonna put a line of this along the edges. Tilt this out a little bit. Should we spread that out? That's pretty with the white in there too. You can see that opal medium. Alright. Let's see, I still feel like we need to move some of this. There's a lot of paint right there. So I'm gonna actually take it down this way first to stretch this part out, because I really like this edge. So find the way to the paint. I'm gonna go down towards that corner. And we'll see, we might need a little more flow extender yet. Okay, so that's all right. That's what we have the white here for. Again, I'm going to come in with the gold because I don't want the Naples yellow mix mixing per se with the deep violet. And maybe we'll come in with the Naples yellow, and I think we'll be done layering our cups at that point. I feel like there's more paint on the canvas right now than in the cups, but. paint, bring it back to center as much as possible. And we're going to start heading off that corner. There's the way to the paint. Okay, 
Now we can play with composition now that everything is actually covered. I kind of like this a lot though. So the question is, do we like this or do we want to tilt it off? I think I want to see what it looks like if I take some of it off. Because I like this corner. This corner is actually really cool. I mean, that side's not bad. What do you think? Do you think I should leave that corner? Or tilt it off a little bit? Where's the way to the paint? Go straight down towards the bottom. Actually, this part in here is amazing, where that ice blue is next to the Prussian. I'm starting to get a lot of cells, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands off, and then we're going to torch it. I'm going to see what we've got here. And there's something HOA did for me that I want to show you guys, too. <laughs> Actually, I think I might use... Okay. Yeah. All right. So, let's torch this. I'm excited now. This is really cool. Okay. Should I use the thing? Should I go get it? Okay. So, so my handy dandy Makita leaf blower that HOA got for me, he's actually taken the tip of it and he's wrapped a nice paper clip around there and made it more into a flat nozzle. So let's see if we just can't blow out this part just a little bit. Because I want to play with this and see if it works. That's pretty neat. I like that. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's turn this around and do this edge too. and just put a very thin line right here. Let's see if we can't blow that out. All right. Almost picked up the torch again. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my last I am. Too 
Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. And I like that side. Um, the only thing I want to do is see if I can bring this part down a little bit and maybe open some of that up. Because it's pretty cool. And I like how this is open. This sort of got wavy. So let's see if we can't take it back. There's the way to the paint. It's up there. Okay, so I think we're gonna leave it like this because I really like that. I like the edges that are blown out. The only thing I'm wondering is should I blow out this side just a little bit? Or do you like it more solid? Right here. Or is it kind of... All right, that's cool. I'm gonna leave that like that. I like it a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe my hands off and then I'm going to put my magical hat back on that Santa sent me. And uh, we can look at this for a sec. So there's one part right here that I want to blow up just a touch more. <laughs> I'm no stranger to paint, it's okay. No, I'm actually, I think I'm happiest when I'm like covered with paint head to toe. <laughs> you must. You do, do it a lot. I love it. It's fun, man. Okay, I'm gonna put my magic hat back on. <laughs> Let me get a skewer so I can point. Okay, so, magic hat is back on. So this is our colander pour. I really like this. I love these cells that are popping up in here. I love these lines. Got a tiny bit of that kaleidoscopy center still on there, which is just fine with me. I love these little cells that are popping here. Gorgeous, I love that Prussian blue with the ice blue is really pretty and very like Arctic. I like it a lot, it's pretty cool. This is pretty with the bright aqua green and that brilliant yellow green is really, really pretty. We got the gold cells popping up through here. I kind of love these, so that's really neat. I really like this where the little bit of the bright aqua green and that brilliant yellow are coming through there. That's cool. There's a little bit happening over here. I could blow it out more. Go away, moth. Stay away. <laughs> no, go away. Oh my god. He wants to land in it. I know he does. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I like it. I like what's happening in here a lot. I think this is really beautiful. I think it's balanced on that side. I love this. I actually really like these veins of the Prussian blue going through that, and that's where the bright aqua green mixed with the ice blue, giving us this really pretty frosty sort of color. This is very frosty. Very, very pretty also. It's also sort of floral. It's also kind of oceany. So, you know, but I like this a lot. I think it's really pretty. I'm glad that I did it again. Um, and I encourage you guys to use the tools. Okay, we're gonna take this off for a minute. I encourage you guys to use the tools that you have, not just in traditional ways, but also in, you know, ways that you think might be cool. You know? So have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, please be sure to check out Mixed Media Girl's channel because I know her video is going to be awesome. And Lee and Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studio and Sarah Mack. So this was an awesome collaboration. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I will show you this one is dry. Have a beautiful day and happy holidays to you all. Okay, so this is a few days later. You guys, I absolutely love how this piece turned out. This is so cool. So many beautiful colors in here. Between that bright aqua green and the bright, brilliant yellow green. 
and that ice blue just really did magical, magical things with the Prussian blue, like especially in here. Just so cool. I love this edge. And then these are the parts that we blew out. Leaf blower. <laughs> but this part is so pretty. Where the colander was, and you can see all those lines and those cells and that definition. Just really cool. So I've never really been a huge fan of colanders, but this pour might change my mind a little bit because <laughs> I really like how this turned out. I love the movement in it. I love all the colors, how you can really see the bright aqua green and that brilliant yellow and the ice blue, how they really pop against the Prussian blue is really cool to me. I love this. I really, really am very happy with how this piece turned out. So this was an awesome, awesome collaboration, you guys. This was so much fun. Huge, huge thank yous to Mixed Media Girl and Sarah Mack and Massey Art Studio. You know, they were all so, so much fun. Please be sure and go check out their videos next. And uh, thank you guys so much for being here with us. We wish you a very, very happy holiday season full of love and joy and hopefully lots and lots of laughter. And we will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.